Thanks for tuning in, and welcome back to another Technique Thursday. Before we start, just a quick reminder that if you like what you see and are interested in learning proper exercise technique, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the exercise technique videos. Also, if you have any questions, ask them down in the comment section and we'll either respond to you directly in the comment section or answer your questions during our weekly Sunday Q&A. Alright, time to demonstrate the exercise. The exercise we will be demonstrating for you will be the seated barbell military press. To perform the seated barbell military press, adjust the seat of the bench so that when you are sitting, your thighs are approximately parallel to the floor, your head is lower than the rack bar, and you're able to lift and return the bar to the supporting pins without hitting the top of your head. Sit on the bench with your feet firmly planted on the floor, your butt placed evenly on the seat, your shoulders and upper back placed firmly and evenly against the vertical back pad, and your head placed firmly against the vertical back pad if the back pad is long enough. Grasp the bar evenly with a closed and pronated grip slightly wider than shoulder width apart, and exhale as you lift the bar off the supporting pins and over your head until your elbows are fully extended. This will be your starting position. Inhale as you lower the bar slowly and under control by adducting your shoulders and flexing your elbows. Keep your wrists stiff, your forearms perpendicular to the floor and parallel to each other. Extend your neck slightly to lower the bar directly in front of your face and continue to lower the bar until it lightly touches your clavicles while keeping all five points of contact with your head, torso, hips, and feet. Exhale and extend your neck slightly to press the bar straight upward until it passes by your forehead by adducting your shoulders and extending your elbows. Your feet should remain planted firmly on the floor and your butt on the bench. Keep your wrists stiff and your forearms perpendicular to the floor and parallel to each other. Continue pressing the bar up until your elbows are fully extended but not forcefully locked with the bar overhead. Repeat these steps for the prescribed number of repetitions, then re-rack the bar, keeping your grip on the bar until both ends are secure and motionless on the supporting pins. Regarding tempo, there will be four numbers which will determine the speed of the movement. The first number is going to be the eccentric portion, or the lowering phase of the movement. The second number is going to be the pause at the bottom of the movement. The third number is going to be the concentric portion, or the lifting phase of the movement. And, the fourth number is going to be the pause at the top of the movement. Therefore, a tempo prescription of 5010 will require you to lower the weight for 5 seconds and immediately lift the weight for 1 second without resting at the bottom or top of the movement. A tempo prescription of 3210 will require you to lower the weight for 3 seconds, rest at the bottom position for 2 seconds, and lift the weight for 1 second without resting at the top position. A tempo prescription of 4021 will require you to lower the weight for 4 seconds, lift the weight for 2 seconds without resting at the bottom, and rest for 1 second at the top of the movement before performing the next repetition. A tempo prescription of 2121 will require you to lower the weight for 2 seconds, rest at the bottom position for 1 second, lift the weight for 2 seconds, and rest at the top position for 1 second before performing the next repetition. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the exercise technique videos. And if you have any questions, ask them down in the comment section, and we'll either respond to you directly in the comment section, or answer your questions during our weekly Sunday Q&A. Keep fit, have fun, and we'll see you again next week.